Hey everyone, uh, my name's Andy. My channel is Finding Value. If you like making money, subscribe to the channel. This channel talks about undervalued investments, uh, looking for potential opportunities wherever it may be. Uh, right now, it just so happens to be in commodities, given the real estate cycle and where we are. So uh, looking at today, the presentation is about technical analysis on gold and silver. Let's see what the charts are telling us and let's see if there's anything that we can discern that is going from a downtrend into an uptrend. So let's jump in here, let's see what we have. Again, we're looking for changes in the charts. We're looking for trend line, bre trend line breaks and we're looking for more upside momentum than downside in terms of candlestick body lengths. Uh, and that's what we're focusing on and trying to look for to see if there are any indications that this downtrend is turning. So this is the GDX ETF. I'm just going straight into the ETFs. Uh, gold and silver, they had an up day today. Uh, same with platinum and palladium. So I'm using the uh, ETFs and some of the individual stocks to see if those are leaders because they typically are leaders of the price of gold and silver. So we're using these as indications uh, of, of a price move uh, or change. Right now, we've got a downtrend. You can see this downtrend line. We are still in a downtrend. Now, uh, what I look for is I look for higher lows, and I've got the low here uh, in the beginning of March, and then I've got a higher low possibly right here. We've got this nice big up day, which is good. I like to see large up days. And what you see on this corner over here is you're starting to see more large up days than than. Uh, we'll call it large down days, but we've got small down days over here. I think potentially this could uh, move and break this trend line somewhere soon. Now, I, I can't tell you exactly what it's going to look like. I can't tell you the exact day, but what I can tell you is that the momentum, we've got large candlestick bodies moving up into the line. We hit this trend line, bounced back off of it, and if we can hold our ground here, perhaps we can break through this downtrend line. It is a higher low stepping into the trend line. That's about as good of a possibility or percent wise as you can kind of get before breaking a trend line. I would say that this was a good, a good move here. We were having higher lows into it. It broke the trend line and then it came back down. So uh, if we're going to have a, a trend line break, it's setting up right now to try to break through this, this trend line. SILJ, another ETF, the Silver Junior uh, EV ETF. Again, we're still above this, this support line here. It's looking fantastic. We broke this downtrend line. So everything's okay at the moment. We do have a, uh, a nice wick on the bottom here. We came up, came back have some nice support through here. So there's buyers down here and we bounced off quite nicely. Hopefully we can have some momentum that continues to the upside. We have a large pullback here and then a smaller pullback. It's contracting down and then the buyers kind of came in and pushed this thing higher. So hopefully the momentum continues to the upside. We'll have to see uh, later this week what happens. This is a Cisco Gold Royalties uh, again. We do have this kind of rolling over uh, on a daily basis. We've got a high here. We have another high here. So it's kind of almost a double top, potentially. Up, up, we're coming back. Now what's going to reverse this thing? We've got a support line here. We dip below it very, very briefly. Large up day, saying the buyers are here. Let's push this thing back up. We came back down. We have another large up day today. If this low can stay here and we break this line right here, I would say we're in the clear. So in you know, Cisco Royalty, if you break 1160 or so, if you get to 1175, you broke through this and it's going to look pretty good, I think. Uh, but this is the kind of the line in the sand. Hopefully we can hold this higher low here and we break into kind of an uptrend outside of this little downtrend that we've got here. So... That's, that's what I'm seeing. That's what we need to break. Sandstorm Gold, uh, what we've got is a large downtrend here. 
We broke this downtrend. We pulled back. And what we need to do is we need to break 725. We need to break this right here. That would constitute a new uptrend. So if we break 725, uh, it's called a Trader Vic uh, 123. One is you break the downtrend line. Two, you create a higher low. And three, you create a higher high, which would be at 725. Therefore, you're in a new uptrend. So Sandstorm Gold is close. That's what we're looking for. Franco Nevada, here's the downtrend line. Step one, break the downtrend line. Step two, a higher low. Step three, break this higher high. And I think we're doing that. This one actually looks very good. So uh, Franco Nevada looks like we're kind of in a new uptrend line. Uh, so that looks pretty good. That's one uh, that looks good. And hopefully Franco Nevada is a leader leading the rest of the royalty companies and mining companies in the gold and silver sector higher. Hopefully that's the case. Looking at Anglo Gold Ashante, just as a mining company. Here's the downtrend line. We haven't broken the downtrend line, but what I see is positive developments. This is what we're looking for. We want to see the move before the move happens. So we've got large updates here. So it's one, two, three, contracted. You can see these candlestick, the body lengths, the actual opening and closing prices. They contracted up, had a nice bearish engulfing right at this trend line, and we came back down. But the, the, the down pull here is smaller in its size. The down days are smaller than the up move. So what I call this is positive momentum. Positive momentum, and then what do we have right here? Big move higher in two days. We covered all this distance in two days, a small little down day. Sometimes they call it a bloody nose, something like that. Now we have another kind of a, a, a little bit larger, medium-sized up day. We need to see this blow through here. And hopefully gold can continue its run. Now, I have looked at the dollar. The dollar uh, was only down a little bit today, and we've had a pretty good run up. So I think this highly depends on what the dollar does. So if you guys want to watch this real time, if the dollar goes down, that's DXY is the ticker symbol. I think these have a good shot of breaking through quite, quite easily. If the dollar goes up, these have been very resilient in the face of a dollar decline. It is showing me that the gold stocks have buying or staying power in these price ranges. So I'm getting very bullish because I'm seeing a increase in the dollar, but these guys are holding on tight and they're even, some of them are even uh, moving up in face of the dollar. Now, I'm not saying that gold and the dollar are necessarily directly correlated uh, in opposite directions, but what I am saying is that gold is being strong irrespective of the dollar. So watch AU because we might get a downtrend break here because of this momentum and how it's lining up before this move higher. I think it's going to break very soon. Uh, gold, this is Barrett Gold, downtrend line. We, we have a low here. Hopefully this can stay here with a higher low. And I'm looking for a downtrend break hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Remember, this has to hold. We could come up, bounce off of it, and then break this low here, and it's not going to hold which would not be good for at least a short-term move. I think long-term, they're all good, but short-term. This is Endeavor Silver. You can see that we kind of broke this uptrend line. Doesn't mean we're, we're out of the clear here. Shoulder, head, shoulder, and maybe this is all we're going to get if it's, a, if it's a sideways move here. So it's a shoulder, head, shoulder. This head's not too big. If it's here, maybe we come down a little bit more, uh, but... You know, this isn't, I don't see any movements here. It is still in a downtrend. It's just one kind of anomaly update, perhaps. And remember, the dollar could continue to, to strengthen, putting a little bit more pressure on here. We could see a $4 area or something down here. It's still possible. But gold overall looks pretty good, and all the gold companies. Silver looks a little bit weaker here. Uh, First Majestic, we broke this, up, this uptrend line to the downside. Uh, we do have an update, which is good. But we got to break through this downtrend line and get back above it. Sometimes they have false breakouts and they move on up. The market conditions are supporting higher silver and gold prices in the future. The timing of when that comes, I don't, I don't have that crystal ball. I just know that the market conditions are ripe for higher gold and silver prices, given real estate.
Here's Discovery Metals. It's still in its um, uptrend channel. So that's looking fantastic if you like Discovery Metals, which is a uh, silver exploration company. Metallic Minerals. Now, is this going to be a false breakout to the downside or is this thing going to move to the downside? I don't see a ton of large candlestick down days right here. It's kind of pausing and waiting. Now, is that pause and wait a, a, a indication of a, of a reversal to go higher? Or is this a pause and wait to see what the dollar does? And if the dollar goes up, it's going to continue a little bit lower. I'm not exactly sure, but the dollar is probably the thing that we want to watch. Um, I didn't chart it because it dollar USD doesn't update till after market close. I'm doing this a little bit before. Uh, we did have a down day on the dollar and we've had some large up days, which the momentum is to the upside. So there is a possibility that the dollar strengthens. Some of these are still under pressure, but gold has been pretty resilient by looking at these charts in the face of an increasing dollar. I don't think an increasing dollar is going to be sustained for a very long period of time. I think it's a very short-term phenomena that we're going to see for whatever reason. Everybody got short on the dollar, and usually when that happens, it reverses for a little while. And then eventually, uh, because of market conditions, because of real estate, because of new loans against new homes, uh, because of where the position is for the government in terms of they can't raise interest rates, they're going to try to hold their interest rates down at some point. Uh, and they're going to continue to print money, which means higher inflation, held down interest rates, which means the dollar value is going to go down, which is going to be fuel for gold, silver, and commodities, because that's where real negative rates come into play. So that's what I see in these charts right now. Uh, what, what I would do is I would hold on and see what happens. Uh, I'm not necessarily buying anything. That's what I'm doing. I'm seeing what the market does. Uh, if I were, if I saw these charts and I saw that the dollar was set up to go down, had a very good setup, then I'd be more inclined to start dump, you know, really starting to cost average in. But right now, since I, the dollar is strong, and we've got a small kind of down day, almost flat day. Uh, I'd like to see the move down with the dollar to say, hey, look, the dollar's kind of, it's ready to go and pull back. And I'd like to see these get a little bit stronger before putting a lot of money into them. You could at cost average in a little bit of money if that's what you like to do. Remember, I can't give financial advice, but uh, that will, could be one strategy is you just you know sprinkle, 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 and sprinkle into strength. We see strength here. So it's, it's not like I'm not seeing strength. We see strength. You can, you know, I, I could do a little bit of sprinkling if, if you know what I mean, uh, but I wouldn't be going in heavy yet. Not enough strength. And I want to see that dollar come down first. If you guys like this content, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed and leave any comments below. Do you think we're going to be heading higher with gold here? Or are you going to wait? Kind of what I'm going to do is just kind of sit back and wait and see what the dollar does, see what the overall market does. Uh, we do have some of these that are breaking to the downside on silver. Uh, so we might need to be a little bit, it's, it, it's not going to, being patient is not going to hurt you here. And I like to rather be patient than rather jump the gun and start throwing money everywhere. That's kind of what I do. So I'm being patient and I'm going to see what these things do before I take action. Thanks for listening. This is Finding Value.